So I had some questions about the way um, I was doing my green screen. I wanted to show everybody it's not complicated at all and it's a pretty neat activity. I was uh, showing my nephew the other day. He really enjoyed it but in reality all I really have is a, I think I spent six dollars on this green sheet from Walmart. I've got a tower light pointed at it. I have a small light on top and then a desk lamp attached to a door here. So I'll kind of walk you through what I'm using and, and how it works and how it's a fun activity. So I have the green screen behind me and one of the most important things to do is make sure that the green screen is tight across whatever is holding it. And the reason that it needs to remain tight is so that you can get an even green color across the fabric. This makes it easier for the computer software to pull out that color from the background. So how do I get even color across the green screen? Well, over on this side, as I showed you before, I have these two lights from a tower light. It doesn't even matter what it is spreading here. I have some light coming from the top to fill this area. And then I have the desk lamp on the other area, spreading the light as evenly as I can. Of course, you can see above me there's a what they call a hot spot. And, and the computer software will really take care of that. So let's uh, jump to that now now I'd like to show you the video editing software that I use it's called VSDC um, it's freeware you can download it on CNET there are some things that are bundled with the software uh, just be cautious when you when you uh, put it on your computer I know that developers need to make a buck or two but just be careful so we're gonna open a new project and uh, you're going to import videos and images. You can mess with some of these tabs if uh, you're familiar with your aspect ratio. But let's go ahead and continue. And these are useful for making slideshows. And you can use this for that as well. So we'll go ahead and cancel that. Now all of your inputs are here on the side. So we're going to grab a video that I made yesterday. Just demo right here. And open it up. Now there's different ways to put it into the timeline. I just go from cursor position for right now and it's at the beginning now and typically you can size the video by dragging it and putting it the way that you want that looks good there maybe I need to slide it over a little eh, it's close enough now what we want to do is take this background out of the video so in order to do that we highlight the video click this tab and we go to editor we go into video effects transparency and then we're going to go to background remover now you can set it to come up at any time if you want to take out the background later from the beginning um, the videos the you know 11 seconds here so I'm going to do it for the whole video It starts at the beginning and then finishes at the end so how do you use this we go into properties and right here background remover settings typically this is a chroma key green is what they call it in the video world but since we went to Walmart we have to work with what we have so in order to key this specific color we click here and hit the ellipses and we can grab this eyedropper and pick the color green that we want so we're just gonna grab this green right here and hit OK Now you can see right away they did a very good job of taking away the green but some of my face is gone as well there's a some other ones here that you can move through and work with to help push some of that back. Each one of these does different things, the brightness, the way that it pulls from your face. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now I can still see some color popping out on the side. There's some issues with my eyes, but all in all it's not too bad. So let's go ahead and, and try to work with some of those errant colors. So let's find some on the screen right there. And what you can do, what's neat about this, is you can add another background remover on top of it. Now if I hit that, you're going to see that it's only going to be removing this additional background for from this point until this point. We just drag it back, and then we can actually set it to drag that color out from the entire uh, portion of the clip. So let's try to grab one of these colors and see if we can't um, 
get it out of there too. So we can do the same thing we did before. Grab a, see it's a little bit different hue of green. And grab a hold of it. Take a look now. Seems to be gone from the screen now. There's still a little bit, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. So as we can see, there's there's going to be some uh, work that needs to be done, and, and you can put as many of these as you want. But for uh, for quick fun, I think that's a pretty good overview of how to make it happen. Well, I forgot to do something that's the most important part. Let me show you how to add the image on top of that. So what we have here is we have the video, we have our background remover on. What we're going to do next is over here we're going to select add an image. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a picture of the ocean. Just open it up. And I'm going to have it from the beginning because that's where the other one starts. And you can see i got to resize the picture. So I've resized it. But now I can't see myself anymore. What you need to do is right click on the actual video and move it up. And then now your video will, will be on top of what's playing. So let's take a look. There we go. So let's continue now. So now that you've seen how to take off the green screen, you can easily add certain backgrounds or videos. For example, maybe a picture of the desert. Or if you're feeling like you want to look at... Um, have an ocean background behind you. Just point and click and add it to the timeline and you're ready to go. So hopefully you guys can have some fun with this and it's I mean all in all the green screen fabric cost me nine dollars. Bought a couple extra light bulbs and the video editing program is free so have fun.